Hi! Thank you so much for joining me for your March 2017 Written in the Stars Terrascope. My name is Madeline and I've been studying astrology and reading tarot for a little over 20 years and on this channel I do two readings per video. First, your Terrascope, a broad overview of the story that you're going to experience this month, and then my Fiercely Focused spread, which I do at the end of the video, which gives you a really specific theme for your month and some concrete action steps you can take to make the most of this March. So this month, the new moon moves into Aries on the 28th of March, and that is considered the astrological new year. So this is a fantastic time to write down your intentions, write down your goals, and I'd really like you to keep that in mind as you go through your reading. What kind of seeds of intention would I like to plant as we leap forward into spring and into the new year? So I really hope you enjoy it and find it really empowering for your month. I would love to hear from you, so you know, like if you like it, subscribe if you want more, and please let me know what you think in the comments or on social media. I've linked all that stuff below if you're interested. I would love to hear from you. I really appreciate you joining me. I hope you have a great month and without further ado, on to your March Terrascope. Hey Leo, thanks again for woo, joining me for your March 2017 Terrascope. Wow, alrighty. I could already feel when I was, I, I always meditate on you and shuffle your cards before the call and um, <laughs> Spirit was definitely bringing out some jumpers and having them leap around. They've got a lot to say to you this month, it appears. So let's see all the characters in their story, though, before I start telling it. Story for Leo. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Leo. March 2017. Leo. Sun, Moon, and Rising. March 2017. Wow. More than... Wow. Almost every one of the readings I've done so far, we've gotten three of pentacles. This is really, that new moon in Aries is really ushering in, wow, and then we get the card for Aries, that's great. <laughs> um, new moon in Aries, what, Leo, what? <laughs> okay, March 2017, wow. March 2017 for Leo. March 2017 for Leo. Leo. Okay. <clears throat> Let me scooch everybody up here. Get them nice and where you can actually see everybody here. Sorry about that, Leo. I'm spatially challenged. I was flipping without looking at the camera. And you will see me turn some of these right side up when they came in upside down. Um, because I am an intuitive reader, so I do not read upside down cards as reversed or muted or any of that unless spirit gives me um, indication of that, which I will definitely share with you. But I've gotten questions about that before, so I just want to make that clear before we get started. <sighs> okay, Leo, it's time to be really humble and professional. Do those words sound odd together? <laughs> They're not. It's, it's usually those people who started from the bottom and worked their way to the top, and for those of you who are hearing Drake right now, I, I can't blame you, <laughs> but who started from the bottom and made it all the way to the top. You're meant to be self-made, Leo. You're meant to take some steps this month to really learn what you need to learn and lay down a good foundation for what you want in your life. Um, there's a lot of opportunity for new things coming to you in March. You have a couple of aces here, you have the judgment card, you have the crossroads right up here at the top and this change. There's a lot going on for you in March and I'm feeling like, what do you want to plant? What do you love that already exists in your life and what do you want to create more of? What do you want to release? Um, this feels like a really wonderful month. The only really, the static that I see is you have some anxiety over a big decision. Um, some of you, it's like very cyclical thoughts, like you just can't stop thinking about this and it's really troubling you. It's interrupting your sleep. It's keeping you from being able to concentrate on things. And Leo, it's because when you give your heart to someone, you give you give all of yourself. So you may be really struggling with a major decision to separate from something or someone um, 
in order to bring yourself back to life. Judgment is not a card about like, oh, I think it's time to switch from coffee to tea. It's like, I think it's time to quit this job, leave the state, divorce this person, marry this person. These are decisions that are like life altering. Gabriel blows the horn and the wall falls down. This is judgment day. Judgment day is coming in March and you're struggling with it. And this has actually been, I remember, a theme in your cards for a little while now, just struggling, struggling, struggling with doing something that you feel like isn't the most wholehearted thing. And what Spirit is saying, like, wow, was it is actually the more wholehearted thing to do, Leo. Um, so for those of you for whom that resonates, please don't feel guilt about it. And for those of you whom that does not resonate, that's okay. Uh, these are general readings for every Sun, Moon, and Leo rising, so it, the Spirit gives a lot of messages for one, and the tone or the note of the message may be slightly different. Like, you may not be leaving a, a romantic partner. Again, you could be leaving a job. You could be leaving a situation where you're living at home, and you feel like you've been oppressed and repressed, and it's time to get out and find yourself, and the Spirit is saying that is the case for some of you, like it's time for me to make my own way, it's time for me to change my life and stop resting on my laurels, which some of you can do, Leo, I mean, um, lazy lion, right, sometimes it's like, well I did all this, shouldn't I be able to like kick back already and like stuff just keeps happening, like, well no, Leo, you gotta put in the work, you gotta keep doing some balancing, some refocusing, even a little bit of multitasking, um, like shift your resources, be ready to change, be adaptable. And to see that followed by the moon, it's like the moon is transformation. The moon is uncertainty, but things coalescing. The moon reveals more and more as she comes into her light, but she takes her time doing that, and the landscape shifts as she shifts. So don't expect things to be completely laid out like A, B, C, D, E, F, G for you this month, okay? Leo, there could be some surprises and sudden evolutions, but they're going to bring blessings. What Spirit wants you to do is keep doing your work and let external events do whatever they're going to do because there's nothing you can do about that anyway. If you do the humble and devoted work, which is the nature of the Knight of Pentacles, the blessings that you receive you can parlay into wealth, into security, the Emperor is the general, the disciplined father, the boss, the authority figure, the self-made man, as Spirit started out talking about you being self-made this month. You're meant to be the Emperor, Leo, and there is an Empress. So for those of you who are females and asking, well, well I want to be in, like, and where's my Empress? The Empress is a different energy. She's a different card. This is the doer. This is the, the quote-unquote classically masculine aspect of I'm going to go out and get it, whereas the Empress is a receiver. So this month, you're meant to take action, Leo. You, this comes after don't rest on your laurels. Make the change. Build the foundation. The world will supply what you need if you trust and keep doing the work that you're doing. And when you do that, when you inject more discipline and like timeliness and structure and okay, this is how I'm going to build this idea that I have. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. That's how I'm going to get the job. That's how I'm going to move. That's how I'm going to do this, that, and the other. Whatever it is that you want to create, build, have, become, Leo, be disciplined about it. Be structured about it. Don't just fly by the seat of your pants. You're very creative and fun and charismatic, but now it's time to embrace the part of yourself that is the sovereign, that is the king, the queen, the leader. Embrace the most responsible and disciplined aspects of yourself and see what you can create when you're creating from that space. Because you've got the creativity down. If you put the hard work and discipline and structure around the creativity, you're going to be unstoppable. Okay, so doing that, that leads to breakthroughs. And I love that this card of breakthroughs, this Ace of Swords, which is like, we're going to have the difficult conversation. We're going to say what we need to say. We're going to cut through the crap and be honest, and that will bring us victory. The laurel and the holly, the victory, the fending off of evil. That's what these herbs represent. So it's like, I will not allow the shadows to encroach upon me. I will not allow these thoughts or these limitations to keep me from going where I need to go. I'm going to cut 
right through this shit. <laughs> I'll cut right through that. I'm gonna make the call that I need to make. I'm gonna fight through this. Notice how similar this, this imagery is. Speak truth to power. Speak the truth that you know, Leo. Speak from the heart as you always do. And you'll find yourself at the end of March with new opportunities. And there's a new opportunity which involves questioning whether you'd like to keep up with what you've been doing before or whether you'd like to pursue this new thing. So you're going to be taking a look at the way you work, the way you make money, how much money you make, and ask yourself, is this working for me? Or is there something that I could be doing differently? So for many of you, you're making that big decision around your job. You may leave it behind because something else is calling to you. What spirit is drawing my eye to on this card is at his feet, maybe even beneath his notice already, is this rose blooming. And it bloomed as like a side effect of this work that he was trying to do, like growing these pentacles. The rose is like, oh, that is just an accident, a beautiful accident. So something that you've made as a byproduct of everything that you've been doing, Leo, for some of you, it's like, pick up that side thing and focus more of your energy on that and cultivate it because it could lead to something great, okay? Okay. So now let's move on to your fiercely focused spread. Let's see what kind of harmonizing messages we get. I love the, the concrete aspect of it, the action steps, but I also feel like it always gives a nice, like, let me fill in some blanks from the story going on and say, let's distill this down to if this is what you need to be thinking about. Okay, so let's pick a theme for you this month, Leo. Theme for Leo, March. 2017, we have sun, moon, and rising. Ha! Beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune. You're leveling up, Leo. Don't resist. Don't resist the level up. Endings bring beginnings. That judgment is bringing you new momentum, a new situation. So I want to say that for many of you, tarot is not fatalistic, Leo. It's always up to your free will. You can choose whatever you want. And before I say this, I want to say again, these are general readings. <laughs> so if you want to know more or get a much more intimate reading, you find me in the, in the description below. Click that link. I would love to tell you more about what's going on for you personally. But, <laughs> preface aside, many of you are going to make that bold decision. Many of you are going to leave the job, leave the person, leave the situation, or be with the person, take the job, and change your life. I love this. Let's see what else comes up. Let's see what concrete action steps you should take or what you'll be feeling invoking around the physical and financial aspects of your life. The earthy stuff, the down to earth aspect. What's going on for you in March, Leo, March 2017. Holy, <laughs> okay. So same card, different deck. Not just that though. Almost every sign that I've read so far has gotten this card, so there's like a major seed planting, foundation building um, energy going on in March. I'm sure it has a lot to do with that Aries new moon and spring, it's, you know, spring has sprung. Um, okay, Leo. So once again, spirit is just affirming and reaffirming, build your foundation. Build yourself up, build your knowledge, build your understanding, build your confidence. Start from step one. Don't try to just jump in willy-nilly and grab a bunch of different parts and hope you can throw something together. Like, put the structure and discipline in. Be the emperor. If you need to study something or learn something or model it on someone else whom you admire who has done a similar thing, do that. Do it with discipline, structure, and in order. That's what Spirit is saying. Do it in order, like order of operations. Like, so don't be trying to put icing on a cake that's not baked yet, is what they just said. Okay, okay, so let's look at what's going on with you mentally. Where is your mind? What are you thinking about, speaking about in March? Okay, so here's some of you leaving a situation behind. And Leo, here's the thing. This is what Spirit is saying. This is a card about, sometimes it's ca called the losing battle. Um, 
someone has just dropped their weapons and, and is leaving because they've just given up on the situation and this guy has this kind of really mean grin on his face like, yeah, that's right, bitch, walk away. Like, and what I'm feeling for that for you, Leo, is again, some of you are leaving behind bad situations and what Spirit wants me to say is that you can't always be the good guy, Leo. <sighs> if you are breaking up with someone, let's say, and again, general reading, Leo, so if you're not, I don't want to like put any fear into you like that. I'm not saying this is for everybody, but those of you for whom that resonates, you know who you are. Let's say you need to break up with someone because it's the right thing for both of you genuinely and you feel that it's it's going to be better and, you know, this other person's going to have a chance at love and blah, blah, blah. Don't bother trying to come out as the hero, Leo. You're never going to be able to do something like quit a job on the spot or break up a, re a long-term relationship without someone's feelings getting hurt and getting painted as the villain. It may not even be the truth, but you have to let people have their thoughts and realize that their thoughts are none of your business. So do what you need to do, Leo. Keep your eyes on your own paper. And don't let, um, don't let the influence or the worry, the concern about other people stop you. But also don't be petty. Don't be this guy. Don't be a sore winner or a sore loser. Whatever the case, walk away, eyes on your own paper, what other people think of you is none of your business. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry, Leo. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's see now what's going on with you emotionally. What are you feeling? How are you relating? What's going on in your emotional world in March? Many options, which is a good thing, Leo, but you don't want to scatter your energy. So you're going to get, um, again, like they were saying, an influx of like opportunities or options and they want you to not rest on your laurels and don't spend so much time like uh, contemplating and thinking and looking that you miss out on opportunities. And don't conversely scatter your energy into like, oh, I'm gonna do all the things and then get none of them done. Be focused, be the three of pentacles. Hey, I need to build again the foundation before I get to the top tier of the cake. So start from the beginning, do it in order, don't get distracted, don't have shiny object syndrome where, hey, this is what I'm working on and focused on and need to do, and then like, ooh, but this looks fun. Like, <laughs> Don't do that to yourself, Leo, because you'll be very pleased with the results that you get if you put the work in. Okay. And finally, let us look at what's lighting you up, what's setting, ooh, okay, what's setting you on fire, how you're being fired up in March. You were the queen of wands. How perfect is that, Leo? And with the kitty at your feet. The Queen of Wands is creative, charismatic, and she's warm. She embraces the creativity of others and she, she loves to foster them. So Leo, share your gifts. Be your best self, which is you at your most magnanimous. Like you are royalty and you're that, when you're being good, you're that good aspect of royalty. Not like a drama queen, which you can be when you're feeling a little bit like needy. Um, but embrace the, the truly queenly aspect of yourself. And again, um, the queens and kings have nothing to do with gender in Tarot. It's just kings and queens have different like personality types depending on the suit. And the Queen of Wands wants to see other people succeed and she herself is, she respects her own success and she owns her success as well as her failures, and she admires the hell out of her and other people's failures and sees them as badges of honor. Badges of, of honor to show, hey, look at all the stumbles I took to get here. Like, embrace your creativity. Embrace the creativity of others. Embrace the messiness of that creativity and the fact that things aren't always going to come out whole and perfect as soon as you create them. The Queen of Wands knows that everything is a process and she takes joy in the process. So take joy in that process, even starting from step one, doing the mundane stuff, doing the stuff that's not so creative. Like if you were, you know, creating your own website and it's like, well, the fun stuff is picking colors out and like making it like look cool. The not so fun stuff is like, well, what the hell is a domain? And damn it, I don't know how to code and blah, blah, like put in the work. 
and take joy in the process and be like, wow, with every step that I do, I'm learning so much and I'm going to be able to, I'm going to be capable of so much more. Empower yourself, Leo. You have everything that you need. She's magical. She's creative. She's a manifester. You're going to create something amazing in March if you give yourself the structure and discipline to do so. Thank you so much as always for joining me, Leo. I hope you enjoyed this and I would love to hear what you think or if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below or ask me on social media where I do daily tarot readings, weekly, weekly horoscopes tarot readings. It's a compulsion, I can't stop. Um, and I'd love to hear from you. Um, thank you so much again for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful March. Happy new moon in Aries. Don't forget to set your intentions and goals and I hope to see you in April. Bye, Leo.